Hello everybody coming at you with all my my ace my how you guys doing today today I'm going to be installing my extended fuel tank on my 2018 Yamaha YZ450 FX along with a genuine Yamaha racing cooling fan so that's gonna plug right into the harness I'm gonna show you that but we got to get this all tore down got a lot of parts to stick on this bike and I'm super excited to get the chance to do it so here we go. All right, so I got the seat off, the side panels off. We got this part off. This is where the fan is gonna go. So we're gonna try to throw that on. That's just right here. Right here is where the fan plugs in. So that's that plug will plug right into there and you have to wire it up and put it down there. All right, so we got the fan on there and plugged into the plug right there. But we had some issues with getting this fan mounted because this tab right there was bent. So we ended up, see those marks on the tab? We ended up having to take a hammer and tapping that in because it was bent out a little bit. We also tapped in this way, pushing it in so that screw would line up. So there we have that. I have to, that's all mounted up. We got the fan on there, plugged in. Now it's just getting the tank off so we can stick our other tank on. Okay, so we're trying to get the tank thrown on. We removed the subframe because you're supposed to remove it to get this in there because this piece goes underneath this piece. But the issue we're having is I'm not sure if this is aftermarket or not stock, but it looks like this piece is going where this should be. So I'm, I'm not sure if I have to cut that out or not. Dad's gonna check a video, but, and see if he can find any videos, but honestly, it looks, it doesn't look like this is gonna fit in there. It just doesn't, so not sure if we're gonna have to cut that or not, but like I said, it doesn't look like it has much room unless you're supposed to get that in there before, but it's uh, pretty wonky, I don't know. All right, so there it looks like it's installed but we discovered a lot about the bike. We discovered that this radiator is bent. So we had to uh, bend the tab back. This spacer is supposed to be in there, but we had to put a longer bolt in there. And I didn't realize it, I should have, when I seen that this, uh, this part was crumpled. So the previous owner bent this radiator. So that made installations a little bit harder. We messed up and the fuel gasket is leaking. So we have to take this all back off, but it ended up taking us far longer than it should have. And it's late, so we have to go home. But this part right here, we actually had to cut this out. There was a plastic cover that goes right here. So I think the previous owner might've put a different set of plastics on this including the air box that was different from the stock bike because the instructions said nothing about having to pull this off. Like nothing about having to cut this off. You can see this black piece of plastic. We literally trimmed that just so the tank would fit. Not ideal. Like it, it, it was something we had to figure out. There was no way it would ever have fit back in there. But obviously it's leaking gas. So that's not a good, good not a good feature. So we, yeah, it's just pouring out now. Yep. So I have to get a new gasket for that and get that set in. But there it is. I don't think it looks too awful bad. It looks different, but it is what it is. Once I get that new seat, it's gonna look a whole lot better. Wider, but, and the, the fat tires. This thing is gonna be a monster, but Growing pains, that's for sure. So it's now sleeting. I'm going to try to get home. But thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. And God bless.